Go. So these are the, the vegetables that I'm going to be using. Like I said, the celery, there's onions, and there's scallion matchstick, and there's also some um, some thyme in there. Okay. So I have a preheated skillet. You know, I love to work with those, so that you don't have to wait. It's medium. It's medium um, heat right now. Let's put the plantains in there. I mean, let's put our vegetables in there. Excuse me. I'm thinking about plantains. They're so sweet. All right. Those are our onions. Let me just saute our onions. Right, right in the, on the bottom of it is, is extra virgin olive oil. The ones I told you about earlier. Now I'm just going to let these brown off nicely. I'm going to put a half a cup of more oil inside there. Just to give it a little bit more fat so that it can, so that it can do its thing. Also checking my greens as well once I'm here. Okay, greens are looking really nice and wilted down nicely. Look at that. Go greens, go. Looking very nice. Wilted down nicely. We're going to uh, re-season. And um, also, we're going to add maybe another cup of water, half a cup of water in there. And that's what I know. There's, there's a lot of cups of water in this process, in this step. I just don't like to dump a whole bunch of water in there and braise it down because you don't know, you can't, put, you can't take out the water that you put in once the, once the water already hits the pot. So you want to measure out your water nice and smoothly. And people may do it differently, but this is the, more, the most accurate for me. Taking your time cooking. It's not a rush. I'm going to add my half a cup of, uh, of oil. Here we go. Half a cup of water is inside right now. Now it's really going to do its thing. Let it cook. Let it get caramelized and nice and dry. Let me do its thing. Okay. And what I'm going to add to that, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Yes. I'm going to add some whole garlic chopped. Chopped up, minced up nice. I'm going to add like a half a teaspoon. Now to these vegetables, I'm going to season them as well. Give it a little salt, give it some pepper. Got to make it taste like something. Even though these vegetables are so flavorful. they call it plantanos. It's a very, very sweet uh, uh, vegetable. You know, there's green plantains, there's, there's, uh, there's even like yellow plantains and, and uh, purple plantains. But this one I'm, I'm using right now is the sweet plantain. It's very good, very nice. What I do is I chuck the bottom off of it first, top off, and I, there's, a line, there's a line that you that you could follow with your chef knife. Put the plantain down like that so you don't have to put it in your hand and hurt yourself. And you follow that line, just along that ridge. Boom. Once you get down that ridge, you can peel it. Just 
just like that. It opens up really nice and quick. Okay? Yes? Yeah. And I know that, you know, I know that I don't have a, uh, I know that my audience is ignorant. I know they've seen, you know, planting before. But, you know, I just want to let you guys know. This is a beautiful plant. Very sweet. Okay. So, I chop it down the middle. Half, half inch cuts. Three over there. Three over here. Planting's good to go. Okay. Magic. Ta-da. More planting already cut. All right. There we go. That's our planting right there. So, we're going to go move over to our vegetables, okay? You know, for the, you know, for the uh, brown stew fish. Very, very nice. Okay, so our vegetables are here nice and caramelized. You know, once they get nice and brown and wilted down, then I add my scotch bonnet peppers to it. Okay, a nice little shot of that. Okay, habaneros. Right into the mix. You can see how all the all the onions are getting wilted down nicely and our celery root and our celery, they're getting wilted down as well. Nice and caramelized. Nothing's black, nothing's overcooked. Everything's cooking at a nice pace, nice rate. That's looking good right there. We're gonna let that caramelize and get and come down a little bit more. Okay. Our greens are right here. We're gonna get ready to take them off because they're getting really, really dry. Okay. And we're going to switch these greens into a, into a small pot because they wilted down. Okay. Let's go grab a pot. So we switched our pot and now we have our greens in a small pot right here because they're nice and wilted and tender and, and braised down. Well, what, now what I like to do here is like to, like to re-season. I like to re-season, you know, just to make sure that the, that the flavors that I cooked it in are infused. Okay. So now we have our vegetable mixture right here. It's looking really caramelized and good. Look at that. It's very nice. All, everything's getting nice and brown, but not black and not burning. Everything's cooking at the nice great, nice pace. Very nice. Okay. So with that, what we do next, and our next step is that we add something what you call Golden Ray. <laughs> Golden Ray is a, it's a butter, a rich Caribbean butter that brings a, a certain body to your sauce and to like your, your stews or your vegetables, whatever you're, whatever you're using it with. And it thickens it up and it gives it a nice rich flavor. Very good. You know, it has almost like a cheese smell or cheese effect to it, you know. And I've just learned that Golden Ray is vegan. It's a vegan product. Just learned that today. You know, the learning process never stops. Okay. So, I have my trusty Golden Ray over here. I'm going to take my spoon right here. Add it to my to my vegetable stew right here. Okay, right in there. Boom. And golden ray. Swirl that around nice. Okay. And you let that do do its thing. Okay, you let it get nice and broken down. It'll start to make everything brown. This is a, and this is why you call this a brown stew fish. Okay, 
We're going to add one more tab of butter to that. And if you can see, all everything that was kind of white is looking kind of brown now. <laughs> Not because the our brown butter action is really, really fast. Let that cook down. 